teaching, I have meetings, I need to practice, you know, the typical stuff. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, warming up a little bit and um, just wanted to show you this. This is a mirror and it's um, it's actually was like a locker mirror or maybe one of those notebook mirrors and I just deconstructed it and now I have this mirror and so it's like a portable mirror. It's thin so that it can fit in my case, like my slide-in folder or in my bag. And so I just put it on the stand like this, see it? And then I can check my embouchure or my fingers, what they're doing, because I have this mirror right here. So it's not a very big mirror, but you know, I move it further out, I can see this part, move it closer in, I can see my fingers more, you know. So make it work, you know, it's portable, especially if you're traveling. Um, and if you don't want to take a full length mirror with you, or maybe the full length mirror is not near you, or it's like stuck in one place and you don't want to play in that area, this might be a good solution. And here's the thing, it's thin like this, and if it drops, it's not going to break. So that's a, another plus, right? <laughs> I'm doing a warm-up and this is uh, five note groups but uh, five note groups chromatic style so uh, the whole point is there's two reasons um, number one to get the air going get the blood flowing right uh, the second one is to kind of get my fingers uh, moving so you know sometimes you have more time to warm up than other times and you know this is the day where I can have like a little bit of time so I'll get to show you a little bit of my warm up and uh, yeah, so that's all I'm doing right now. And I'm going step up chromatically. So if I start on my lowest note, low E, then I have F natural, then F sharp, and I go chromatic half, which means half steps, five notes. And I stop at um, B flat because when I play all fingers down be natural, that's, that fingering is very similar um, to the low E, right? If, with the exception of the register key. So, uh, you know, this is, this is more of a focus, a uh, finger focus warm up, but um, you know, if you wanna keep continuing on throughout the range, the full range of the clarinet, by all means. <laughs>
so I did a little bit of practicing and right now I'm trying to um, get ready and get set up for a meeting so after my meeting I also have to teach so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have my teaching set up ready so I can just kind of switch over uh, from the meeting to teaching my students so I'll, I'll actually show you uh, some more of my setup especially during the e evening time because uh, it's getting darker so around 5 30 5 45 it starts getting dark um, so I have to set up uh, in a different area normally I set up uh, near the window because the natural light it's a lot easier so yeah I have my lamp right here so it kind of the light kind of shows through here and so that's better for uh, me because then the student can see me better but um, once again here's my uh, zoom this is the H4 can't see the thing there it is right there the hand recorder this is a discontinued model though so they have uh, the newer model I think it's H4n so what I do <clears throat> is my, the MacBook that I have um, it doesn't have the typical USB port so it has like I think it's called USB-C so I have one of these adapters here that I use uh, so this is to connect from basically the mic to the laptop. Oh, and this is a stand that I use. turn on yet it's only 3 30 uh, my meetings are set for but um, when the time comes I'll show you how I set up the zoom right here okay y'all so I have um, my music book here that's for my student not for the meeting <laughs> uh, I have a notepad here but I wanted to share with you how I um, set all this up Let's see let me bring you in a little bit closer because I want, to, I want you to actually be able to see this so I'm gonna hook the adapter here. I'm gonna put it right here actually. And so essentially what happens is I'm gonna move this here so you can see it. I'm going to connect audio IO. And so the last time I did not do this correct. I had the stand and then I was connecting it. And basically what has happened is it, it basically brings up my voice. What I want with this is we have a staccato with the slur. So that's a bit of a problem because if I want a student to hear a particular pitch, I want them to hear true to sound. So, so this thing right here says 44.1. Well, it has to be higher than that. So let's fix that. There we go. And now I'm going to connect. And that's it. It is like almost 7.30 and let's see, I had a couple lessons, I had a couple of meetings. I tried to practice some, tried to finish some practicing. I actually did work out today. Um, but yeah, I think one of the biggest challenges with this new environment that we're dealing with uh, is you gotta be flexible, right? You gotta be willing to figure things out, you know? So tomorrow, tomorrow I have, I have another meeting, but tomorrow is a little bit more flexible, but I, I do have practicing and I have some recording stuff that I have to do. But yeah, so I think, I think I'm gonna call it a night in terms of recording for you guys, for the vlog. Um, but what I'm gonna try to do is some previous footage that I've had, maybe I could kind of like put it together. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay. So you're probably thinking, what on earth am I doing right now? So this is going to be my costume for uh, the Halloween outing. So the school where we had our first outing. In Prospect Park. We're gonna have another one and this is what I'm wearing. Okay, I'm trying out this costume here. I got a vest, put the 
feathers. What do you think? What do you think? So, I'm supposed to be a raven. Right, so I'm gonna be the raven playing the clarinet. This should be interesting. Hey everybody, uh, it is Halloween. Happy Halloween! So, um, I look like this because <laughs> uh, today, I one of the schools where I teach at, they're gonna go to Prospect Park. Again, same school. I might have mentioned this in the past vlog or me in this vlog, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I have to put on my costume and yeah, I'll do that right now. Okay, so, so I'm getting ready, and no, I'm not gonna keep the mask like that. I will have the mask like this when I'm in the subway, cause I gotta be double masked. I'm gonna be wearing two masks. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be double masked, wearing two masks. I have a mask on my head right now. It's actually cold. It's like one of the coldest days uh, in October. Uh, maybe yesterday was, well, but it's chilly today. It's like, like in the upper 30s and it'll be in the like 40s. So yeah, we don't get much of an autumn here in New York City. We get like a little bit of autumn and then winter, but I think it's gonna get warmer a little bit later. Like as in later in the week. Okay. Okay, walking to the subway station. So here in New York City, nobody cares what you look like. They'll look at you, they might stare at you. Most of the time they ignore you, so. They're not going to care that I look like this. <laughs> Waiting here in the platform. It's actually not as bad in terms of being cold, actually. Uh, I am wearing like jacket, but uh, I have this vest and then I have a sh like a black t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt under. So I'm taking the 7 train, G train to Prospect Park because that's where um, the outing is. I have my clarinet. Uh, yeah, so that's the deal. and then go to the other side of the platform to go to the stop that you missed. So I go down, essentially, to go up. 